Hello guys and welcome to this new video and today I'm gonna uh, show you how to play Arena um, and like how to play the meta which is Lycav and Monks trying to fight for the relics, booming at the same time. So a lot of things to do on Arena and um, also different situations. So I'm gonna try to explain you as clearly as possible all these situations. So let's start with um, the same matchup. So I pick Korean, I put Chinese for the opponent. So it's going to be important for the, the video so yeah you will understand why so i can start the game i will just do the build order explain you and um, if you have a good build order i think you should always win most of your games already so okay just gonna go 26 pop um so i'm gonna pause already 26 pop is my number for a sieve without any eco bonus so i go 26 plus 2 if you have a good deco bonus, you can go 25 plus 2. Um, so yeah, and if you have a slower sieve, um, like, I don't know, you are like Borgondian, for example, you get more eco upgrades. It's a bit slower at the beginning. Not that much, but it needs to be perfect. Um, like the build needs to be perfect with Borgondian. So if you are not confident enough, you can go 27. But 26 is just fine most of the time. So we'll put 6 on... Uh, on foot, I suggest luring deer as fast as possible. You see a deer, you just lure it. The first one at least. Like you don't need to get all your sheep. Uh, just need to have um, deer under your TC. And what you can do on arena, there is no rush. Like you don't need to scout too quickly. So you can like just play with your deer a bit and keep it under the TC for some time. Mm. And then you can try to lure um, your deer one by one and not waste the food. It's really important to not waste the food and not have too many stuff um, being dead under the TC. Okay, six on food. Now we go for um, we go for a lumber camp. Something important to do, guys, as well, is to delete the useless stone wall when you can do it. Because um, when you will be microing, it's important for you to have space to make farms and not have to play Tetris like in between, like between stone walls, between forest, stuff like this. So get as much space as possible. Like my map is pretty bad here, um, like really small, but already getting rid of these two tiles can be uh, good for later on. Okay, now you lure your deer. One by one. So we're gonna go with Thorn Wood. Thorn Wood is a good number to go Castellage. Always a good number to go FC. Mm. I'm not gonna kill it yet. I don't want to have too much food under the TC at the same time. So I'm waiting a bit. Okay, so now. I don't need to take the the elephant, I mean the the ball right away, because I don't want to have too much hunt under the DC at the same time. Like so I can take some sheep anyway, because I don't need to go up too quickly, 26 pop. I don't need to rush the, the hunt and it's not like I'm going 18 pop. Uh, so I can take some sheep. I don't need to take the ball right away. So I'm gonna put the sheep under the TC. I'm making three houses because I'm Gonna be making okay 20 pop 25 30 pop so for 26 plus 2 that's perfect so yeah i'm gonna need three more houses i'm doing them on the wall it's like some uh, i'm starting to wall already okay so now i can try to take the ball and uh don't have like too much stuff under the dc that's perfect you can start looking for the relics so something that I learned yesterday, guys, to look for the relics on Rina, you just uh, like look around the forest, um, go on the opponent wall and keep looking around the forest, and then you scout the middle. So you scout around and then you scout the middle. Uh, this is a good way of not having to not have holes in your scouting. Um, yeah, because if you don't have any pattern to scout, you will have a terrible scouting, and you will have like a black area you will need to go back to at some point, and this is really really annoying. Okay, so we'll scout on the forest. What we can do is this. Okay, so this villager built three houses, perfect. So now we can um, just, 
I don't have a specific build for this. At this point, you just send villagers on food. Villagers on food, okay. If you want the opponent wall, so you can just patrol like this. I suggest patrolling as well on arena when because the um, this is so small, the map is so small that you could meet the opponent scouts. And if you meet the opponent scouts, you want to be giving the first hit. So patrol on the map. Always patrol. Okay, going for the second board, perfect. Start making farms. I'm gonna do three farms in my build. That's usually how I do it. <coughs> so I sent five on berries. Um, four or five is good. <coughs> Again, don't need a specific specific build order. Okay, 20 pop. I like to do um, a 20 pop is to go for a second lumber camp. You can stay on one if your lumber camp is like perfect. There are some spots where you could get like a perfect lumber camp like here. So one would be okay, but I like to go for a second one. So we will be sending villagers to um, to wood now until pop 24. So that's going to be eight on wood. Four on each lumber camp. Keep scouting. I could have put in normal exploration to show you, but this is okay. <coughs> Okay, one more on the wood, and we will be sending the last two villagers on gold, because we need two villagers on gold. Okay, keep track of the score when you play arena, guys, because um, score is going to tell you a lot of things um, on uh, close maps, because you can't really see what your opponent is doing, but you can check the score, like the score going down, bam, it clicked up. Okay. We have two on the gold, I have five on berries, you could have four, up to you guys, depending how you prefer. On the way to Feudal Edge, this is not a really fast up time, so on the way to Feudal Edge, I suggest you go back to your base. Because if the opponent reaches Feudal Edge before you, his scout will be stronger and he will be killing you. So mid Feudal Edge, I will be making a barrack, around like 50-60%, I will be making a barrack. When you make the barrack, um, try to make it so the opponent can't see it. Um, like if you are just going on the opponent wall, you will have some vision inside his base, especially in the feudal edge, you get more vision with the scout. So um, if you do it like far away, so the opponent can't see it, he's not gonna know that you're going scouts. So this is good. Okay, we are mid feudal edge, a bit later even, so I'm gonna send a second ville to do it. Um, but yeah, like this is going really good. Resources are looking good. We'll be able to do the the stable and a market. So the market, I'm gonna do it on the wall, because um, most people going like have um, are gonna be doing a blacksmith. But here, I'm gonna be doing the market because um, I feel like it's just better for the eco. You can buy some food, buy some stone for a force DC, and um, you don't need blacksmith upgrade straight away. So I prefer to do this with the market. So let's flip my reveal. So market on the wall, stable inside, so the open can't see it. Uh, yeah, my eco is looking pretty good. Feudal edge, I will need to create some monks, click like have stuff like this. So I will need um, at least one more on gold. So I will put a third one on gold. And uh, yeah, then the other one, I feel like wood would be good. So the other one I'm going to be sending on wood. Doesn't matter exactly where you send it, but okay. So we are ready to click up, we click up, bam, and now we can get eco upgrades, try to get it as fast as possible so you can start making farms. You want to wait for Oscola to make farms, so. I will need a house as well. And we can start making scouts. So you can go out on the map with your scouts, so don't be scared. Uh, you are making more scouts yourself, so if you trade your scouts, it's perfect. Maybe 5 on berries was 1 too many, uh, 4 is good, but it should be fine. Okay, we keep making farms, we want to produce scouts guys, so making farms, um, prepare some houses. Um, like usually one house will be enough here, but just safety for you guys. Gonna do a second house already, so you don't have to think about it too much. 
And okay. I have my farms. I need the wood for um monastery now, so let's send more on wood. The goal is for you to find the relic. And uh yeah, then you, you have like some scouts. If the opponent doesn't do too many scouts, uh, I mean doesn't do enough uh, any scouts, you stop producing. But uh, okay for now we will need a monastery. Let's do it a bit closer to the wall, to the gate, so my monks go out earlier. And you can get Lycav, Lycav is going to be great uh, to win the fight. Then the goal is going to be to get second wood upgrade, so second wood upgrade is going to be nice. Um, if you have too much gold, you can buy some, it's okay. Um, keep making farms and, until you can really do what you want in your Like I don't have the food to do what I want right now, so I will keep making some farms. So to go out, we will need um, spears to go out with the monks. So I'm going to use some spears. To protect my monks, keep making some farms. I don't have the food to do wood upgrade yet, so um, I'm gonna keep making farms. So two spears should be nice, um, our seas as well. And try to be active on the map with your scouts. Like, um, the opponent will try to get relics and he will use the gates to go out. So, there must be one gate here. Um, you would have scouted it in a real game, so you try to go around like. Um, with the scouts, like, like I would have, like, I don't know, my scout on this side and one scout on the other side, um, not far away from the gate. But okay, now you can try to grab relics. Um, and okay, we can get wood upgrade. You keep producing scouts when you have the resources, and when you have the wood, you will be adding pieces. So let's keep producing scouts. You try to protect your uh, monk with a spear, really important. If the opponent has light cav, you want to protect it. Keep producing monks as well, and okay, we can go for a TC. TC on wood, always easier to balance your eco. Any map you are playing, um, Arabia, Arena, Black Forest, doesn't matter. Make TCs on wood, guys. Like, your eco management is going to be so much easier, because um, you all always need wood anyway, so just make TCs on wood. Um, the other one can be somewhere else, but first is he on wood, always. Uh, okay, now we keep creating light cav, uh, which try to get more relics. We have this one um, close to the gate. Here is nice, so he doesn't see it. Okay, I can do another TC. And now I keep producing light cav if the opponent has army. If he doesn't have army, okay, I stop. Uh, let's pretend that my opponent doesn't have army, because that's something they're going to face a lot, guys. So, okay, we're going to pretend he doesn't have army, we try to snag the relics, and now you are thinking about how many TCs you should do. So, you have two different um, situations, would be 3 TC and faster Imperial Age, or 4 TCs and slower Imperial Age, but more eco. So, how do you know which one uh, you want? Depends on the sieve matchup, like your composition. If you want to go Arbalest in your sieve matchup, right, then going 3 TC makes more sense because you don't need that much eco for Arbalest. While if you go for a food unit or something really, really expensive, like a unique unit, for example, is expensive, um, you will, would like to go on 4 TCs. So, yeah, if it's expensive, 4 TCs is better. If it's just like cheaper, um, like Arbalest, Bombard Cannon, 3 TCs is good. Um, you could switch something later on. But if your goal is to get to your unit comp, like a winning unit comp, um, straight away, you need 4 TCs. So in this matchup, Korean against Chinese, um, what is my uh, composition in it would be with Onager, because the opponent doesn't have any bombard cannon with Chinese. So Onager would be great, I'm playing my sieve, like Onager, Towers, um, maybe Infantry if he's playing, uh, like Albardi if he's playing Cavalry. So maybe even bombard cannon, so I will need a lot of expensive stuff. Like, I will need the composition, I can't do one unit only. So, then I'm going to play 4 TCs. Now you need to um, survive when you're playing on 4 TCs, because if the opponent pushes you, you need to survive. So, you can play on 4 TCs, but you need to stay Castle Edge as long as you need. Um, but whatever happens, you need to keep the map control. So, if you go 40 TCs, you need to add more army in Castle Edge. You could even switch to Pikes if your opponent has too many uh, like have. Because then if he goes forward, like for forward castle, he would kill you. So you need to keep the map control. So 
we will add the force DC and then we will keep adding more army if we need. If the opponent is still fighting for the relics, you uh, keep adding army. But okay, we will buy the stone. That's why I like the market. We will buy the stone for the force DC. So we added late TC, but now we are adding a lot of TCs. Okay, now I can add the TC, and I will be on 4 TCs. Okay, we make horses. You get eco upgrades. You try to keep the map. Try to keep the map. Add more army if you need to keep the map. Right here. Let's get more farms. And now it's basically a boom. Boom with a relics. We will be behind in eco against someone who boomed, but uh, we will win the long game with the relics. So keep making farms. Making farms. Try to keep the vision with your scouts on the map, really important. The opponent is fighting, like right now, um, right now it's, it's just uh, like fighting Lyca versus Lyca. We will need to add more Lyca, we need to keep the map guys. So we need more Lyca. You will stay Castle Age a really long time, but we need more army. Okay. More like Cav, I mean more farms, more of uh, more eco in general. Try to have like an eco, like a really good balanced eco, like in terms of resources. Okay, you're, um, you're on 40 Cs, so your eco will be really nice long term. So let's keep producing army if the opponent is fighting for it. We need to keep the map. Because what we are aiming for now is a castle in the middle of the map, not close to his wall because we are playing a defensive approach. We don't want to play like um, early Trebois or anything early Imp. We just want, like if the opponent has to push, he will have to push the middle of the map and not your base straight away. So you need a castle in the middle of the map. Okay, if, if we need a castle in the middle of the map, we need stone. Pretty logical. Like we can do pikes if the opponent is fighting like Cav, uh, but... Uh, Okay, let's pretend we have enough army. We can use the monks as well now. Okay, we can do this. Uh, to keep map control, a good thing can also uh, be to do a workshop in the middle of the map sometimes. Like some fake pressure, uh, which forces your opponent to do a defensive castle, basically. Some fake pressure is really nice. Okay, let's get eco upgrades. Because we know a big eco, we said. So we use our army advantage to... I do fake pressure, so I will do my workshop here. Make sure we have a balanced eco. Make sure it's um, it's clean, like number camps. <coughs> so we want more veal, we want more eco upgrades. Maybe this one is a bit greedy. Mm, I will get the stone one. Make sure you have vision on the map as well when you do this kind of uh, approach because the opponent could sneak a castle with villagers here. So what we want to do is we will start making some outposts so this doesn't happen. So let's do loom. And we start making some outposts on both sides. And then there is no surprise from the opponent. Okay, we'll be able to click him in a second. Let's uh, keep adding some eco. But yeah, this Megan could even die in your castle sometime. And just eating the opponent wall will make him react and do uh, something in defense. Okay, now we want um, more stone. I said I want like power on Aja. And I like want a castle in the middle of the map as well. Like, so it's going to be in the middle of the map, but not too close from his base. So I'm going to do it like, like here. It's good. Like a bit closer to your base. Um, this is a good castle. Between you and your opponent. We get more eco upgrades. And uh, after we get this castle, we are uh, good. But don't overextend. Extend. This is really important. So, okay. Now your opponent should be faster than you, uh, an imp. He should reach imp w while you're on the way to imp. That's the thing. Now we just want to defend. Um, and um, something really important to defend against most push will be uh, bombard cannons. So we will need chemistry. So we need the university for our imp. University. 
Let's try to balance Orico. Okay, I have too much gold. Maybe I should remove some. Because I have five relics, so makes sense. You can get um, on the way on this kind of map. In this kind of map, you can get uh, masonry as well. Uh, now it's a bit too late, but if you are um, doing your trebois, you could get masonry and uh, buy more time with it. But yeah, try to buy more time with your army, and then you can get your unit comp. I want to do Onager for the point. Okay, we do this. We will do chemistry straight away. Uh, really important. Depends what you need the opponent has. Like if he has a uh, paladin, you will be um, starting with a uh, alb maybe. But just do the counter units first. That's going to be, and then plus your strong units, you're going to have uh, your Imperial Edge unit comp. Uh, so yeah, we can like, we will be repairing. We will be, and then we get to late game in good condition because we have five relics. So that's how you want to play arena. That's a really good way of playing arena. Um, I don't think it makes sense continuing, but uh, yeah, like you just get to um, strong units. Monks are also a thing on arena, like in Imperial Edge against Bombard Cannon. Uh, like winning Trebois is really important, so um, yeah, Monk uh, is definitely a thing. So with Monk you could get, I don't have it with Korean, but you get this one, plus um, this one, and also Redemption, and you can convert to Bombard Cannon. Okay. Uh, that way you can get to your unit comp, uh, the timings are not super fast because it's more like eco approach uh, with map control. So now it's just like about doing the build order, um, understanding what you want to get, like if you want to go a ballast or something quick because you have a bad matchup maybe. If you have a bad matchup maybe you need to go 3TC and try something early. So trying something would be uh, dropping a forward castle and then uh, trebbing your opponent instantly. Um, but here, if you have like winning late game, you can do this, keep the map control, uh, play four TCs, not five, five would be too greedy, it's a bit even useless. Um, have the vision on the map, and uh, yeah, you should be fine, you should be fine. And the um, other thing would be uh, for you to understand how much army do you need to keep map control. So one tip I can give you, your opponent is going back behind this wall, you have enough arm. If the opponent is still outside, uh, you are chasing him, he's chasing you, stuff like this, you need more army. You Basically, you need to be here, and he needs to be here with this army. And then, you have enough army. But until then, keep producing. Do pikes if you need in castellage, do uh, mangles if you need in castellage, do whatever you need. Um, anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.